Hi guys, welcome back. It's Alicia from Medica Organics and thank you so much for watching. I am just making a quick soap tonight. It is the evening here. It's quite late actually. Um, but I've just got, I tend to get um, inspired late at night. And so I come down and create these soap creations in the middle of the night. This is one of those. So it's only just a little batch. Um, I've put the colours in here already. What I'm using is a little bit of French green clay and I've also put in a combination of some powders in this one just to test out to see what it does through the cure and I'll be watching this over the next sort of three months to see how it goes over a longer period as well. So the powders that I've got in here are actually a combination of some spirulina wheatgrass, chlorella and barley powder. So I'm going to try that out tonight and I'm hoping just to get um, sort of a soft, almost pastel green out of it. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. My essential oils that I've got in here, I thought just a basic um, combination of peppermint and eucalyptus would go really nice with this if I can get this to a nice pale um, green colour. So that's just a peppermint and eucalyptus in there. Um, and in here I've got my lye water. And this should all be down to a decent temperature now. What have I got there? That's 43 degrees and that's 46. It's a little bit hotter. Than what I would usually um, soap at but it's just a peppermint and eucalyptus there's nothing weird in here so I'm gonna go ahead and do it I'm gonna pop my essential oils in first I'll get all of this blended up really well first and then I'll just put that um, lye water in that should have cooled down another degree or two by then so my whisk out of the way. And that's 43. That's okay. I do prefer to um, soap a little bit cooler than that usually, but that'll do. I just want to get this in the mould so I can go to bed. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? Just get inspired in the middle of the night? And um, go down and make some soap, or is it just me? I'm a bit of a weirdo, I think. my spatula I'm just going to give that oh that's clearing my sinuses that's nice it's winter here in Australia and it is freezing cold or well, cold for me anyway okay let's give that a nice little mix up that color is looking beautiful up there. It's looking really pretty. I expect it to lighten up a fraction through the cure. So, so 
hopefully I get a nice pale green, just a nice soft green colour. I'll be happy if I can do that. With a combination of that uh, French green clay and those powders. Okay, I'm going to pour that off. It feels beautiful. Give that a quick scrape out. I can actually see the spirulina um, powders and that just through the soap, just really, really finely. It's, it's really pretty. Um, I'll give you a close-up. Hopefully you can see it as well. I didn't infuse those powders. I just I put them straight in uh, with the clay. So they just went in raw. There was no infusion. Oh, hello, Lola. There's my Lola girl, my cat. She's... She's saying, why aren't you in bed, Mum? This is weird. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to text her that now because I have soaked a little bit warmer and it's already ready. So just give it a little push into the middle. I'm not putting any botanicals on the top of this one. Just going to give it a nice classic texture on the top oh. <laughs> Lola's doing little burnouts around the house let's pop a couple of little swirlies on the top just for something different okay. and that is it I'm not going to wait for this one, obviously. I'm going to go to sleep in a minute. <laughs> Won't actually be able to go to sleep now that I've made my little dream soap. <laughs> All right, I'll give you a close-up. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see the specks in there, but you never know. So I'll try and... There's a bit of, bit of a shadow there. Hopefully that's, hopefully that's giving you a nice close up there. I'll give you a better look tomorrow when I cut it. All right, I'll be back shortly. Good morning, guys. I am going to unmold and chop up my soap, my peppermint eucalyptus. I'll just get it out of the mold and then I'll give you a close up. You can actually see, oh, it's so pretty. I love this. I just saw it down the side so you can see the um, the powder from the spirulina and the wheatgrass and the chlorella. Oh, look at that. I really like that. I love this type of a soap. That's a really nice combination actually, the peppermint and the eucalyptus. It's got that, um, that really cooling sort of vibe to it but it's not too i know if you use peppermint alone or, or too much peppermint or eucalyptus alone it's really overpowering but the two together are actually quite nice right. oh this is pretty i love how the color and everything how it's turned out oh that's really nice um I'm stoked with this one. I think this one's going to sell really well. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, get that weighed, weighed in, and then I'll chop the rest up. That is good. Pop it on the side there so you can see the texture as I go through the cuts. I see the bars as I cut them. Oh, it's pretty. I like it. If you can't tell, if you can't tell, I like it. I like it a lot. Beautiful, beautiful colour too. Very happy. Happy girl this morning. 
So that's my peppermint and eucalyptus. Thanks so much for watching guys and have a fantastic day. Bye.